Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. We're covering the Southern District of New York Courthouse and also the New York State Courthouses. Behind me, today, May 31st, last day of the month. We've got some loud honking out here, but here's what we can say. Sam Bankman Freed has requested, he's out on bond, he's in Palo Alto, he's requested a subpoena to get information from Fenwick and West. It's a law firm that worked for FTX, and he wants a whole slew of information from them. And we've written up the story you can find it on Inner City Press. Meanwhile, in a state federal conundrum, New York State uh, Alvin Bragg, Manhattan prosecutor, has opposed the removal of his case against Trump to federal court. Uh, he filed a lengthy thing, and we covered it, and we put it online. And the hearing on that is going to be June 27th, and we're going to cover it. That's June 27th of this year. Now get ready for it. McGonagall, the FBI guy, being prosecuted along with a Russian interpreter, Sestakoyev, or whatever his name is. Their trial will be also in June, but June 2024, more than a year ago. At least Judge Reardon set a date. I think that actually the co-defendant wants it to be 2025. A lot of traffic on Worth Street, and it's because there's a lot of crimes down here. What can I tell you? Now, Mr. Guo, Mr. Miles Guo, also known as Kwok, he had his appeal of his detention yesterday high above in the building behind me, which is, is uh, the 17th floor, the Second Circuit. His lawyer get, laid it on, they took it under advisement. He offered private guards again, like Englop saying, the UN briber got. We'll see, we'll see what happens. The government opposed it in full. Speaking of the United Nations, it must be said, Inner City Press covers the United Nations even having been banned by Antonio Guterres for having had the temerity to question his links to the China Energy Fund Committee. He didn't disclose it on his finances. Rather than correct them, he had Inner City Press thrown out. But yesterday, in a, in a, in a telling show of cowardice and decay, he was asked, his spokesman, Stefan de Jorak, was asked about the anti-gay law in Uganda, and he said, well, every agency can make its own decision. Then he was asked about North Korea and a satellite, and he said, well, the security, that's already left the Security Council. Later in the day, he tried to save this bacon on both, but it is cowardice and sleaze. Don't pay for it.